So you probably must have recorded and edited your video and you're looking for ways to properly upload it on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step how to properly upload your videos on YouTube so it can start getting the views it deserves. Hi there, I'm Winston and as a creator myself, I know most video editing tools online make it easy for creators who use their tools to upload their videos directly from within the tools onto YouTube. But most often than not, these tools have limited options for optimizing your videos for more views. Which is why it's important that you know how to upload your videos on YouTube the right way, especially with the many changes that are taking place right now on YouTube. So, in this video, I'll be walking you through the entire steps of optimizing your videos with the necessary elements during the process of uploading it on YouTube. We'll be looking at what YouTube means with made for kids content and how it applies to your channel as well as what the new check option here is all about. We are going to start off with the different default upload settings on YouTube which will basically help you with your uploading privacy settings categories, tags, comments, language, and much more. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in growing your channel and making money from it as a beginner, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So what do you really know about the upload default section on YouTube? Well, the upload default section on YouTube is basically a default settings for all the videos you upload on your channel. So whenever you upload a new video on your channel, you have some sections of the video already pre-filled with some information. Take for example, whenever I upload a video on this channel, the description area of my video will be auto-filled with this text, which is basically links and information I want added to all my videos. So how do you access the YouTube upload default feature on your channel? Well, you can do that by going to your channel studio page and click on the settings option on the left side here below and this pop-up will appear. On the left side of the pop-up, you want to click on the upload default options and when you do that, you will see these different tabs. You have the basic info tab and the advanced settings tab. Now, if your channel is also monetized, you will see a monetization option here. Now, under the basic information tab here, you have the option of setting a default title, default description, visibility, and tags. Personally, on this channel, I have only the description and the visibility areas set as default, simply because the title and tags of the videos I upload are different from each other. So, what can you set as default settings in your video descriptions? Well, you can decide to add your social media links so that your viewers will easily find you and connect with you. You can also add your channel subscription link to make it easy for your viewers to subscribe to your channel. Now, if you also have related products that you are promoting, you can also add the links as your default description settings. That way, whenever you upload a new video on your channel, you don't have to spend the time adding the links again. Now, in the advanced settings tab here, you can set up your channel license to either standard YouTube license or creative common license. You can also set up your channel default categories for your videos, original video language, captions, and CCs. You can set your comments default by either allowing all comments, holding potentially inappropriate comments, holding all comments for reviews, or simply disabling the comments feature for all your videos. If you also want your video likes and dislikes to be displayed under your videos, here is where you can set them to default by adding the check mark here. Now, if your channel is already monetized, under the monetization tab here, you can select which ad you would like to be displayed by default on all your channel videos. Now that you know how to set your channel defaults, let's now look at how you can upload your videos on YouTube and properly optimize them for more views. So to start uploading videos on your channel, click on the create feature here on the top right hand side and select upload from the drop down options. When you do that, this pop up will appear where you can drag and drop the video you want to upload. 
then you'll be redirected to this video editing page where you can start properly optimizing the video for more views. So while the video is uploading on your channel, you can go ahead and start optimizing it. Now optimizing your video of course starts with the video title, which should include a phrase that people will use to find your videos on the YouTube search. Then comes the video description, which contains the uploaded default description I showed you how to set up under the upload default settings. So with this default description settings, all I have to do next is add a little text about what the video is all about. The next optimization step is adding your video custom thumbnail. And as you can see, after your video finishes uploading, YouTube is going to give you these other suggested thumbnails that has been randomly pulled from within your videos. But it's always recommended to create your own custom thumbnail because the suggested thumbnails by YouTube are not attractive enough to make viewers click to watch your video. You can easily use any image editing tool like Canva or PigMonkey to create your own custom thumbnail before uploading it to YouTube. Personally, I use the tube body thumbnail feature to create my video thumbnails. Now, if you still do not know what tube body is, basically tube body is a Chrome extension that you can download and link to your channel to help run your channel with ease. You'll find the link to this Chrome extension tool in the description box below this video. The next step in the process of optimizing your videos is linking it to related playlists. Now, if you have created a playlist on your channel, you can easily link it by using this feature here. And if you don't have, you can also easily create one from within this page. Now, under the audience section here, you have to tell YouTube if your video is allowed for kids to watch or not. This is in accordance to the Children Online Privacy Protection Act, which is basically to protect what kids watch on YouTube. The next step of optimizing your video is adding tags or related phrases that people use to search for videos like yours in the YouTube search. Again, the TubeBody tool helps me here a great deal when it comes to finding those type of related phrases. As you can see, the other features here below are the features we already set up in the default upload feature at the beginning of this video. So we'll just move on. So this is all what you have to do in the first part in the process of uploading your videos on YouTube. The next step in the process is monetizing the video if your channel is already monetized. But I'll assume if your channel is already monetized, you should know how to upload videos on YouTube properly. Now, if your channel is not monetized, you'll be taken to the next step, which is the video elements. Basically, when it comes to video elements, you just have to add the video end screens and cards. YouTube cards and end screens is a way of showing your viewers other related videos on your channel, your website, or other call to action. So you can add an end screen at the last 5 to 20 seconds of your video and the end screen will appear to your viewers when they are watching your videos on both desktop and mobile devices. With the end screen option, you are allowed to promote up to 4 elements. Elements that can help point your viewers to other videos, playlists, or channels on YouTube. You can use it to call for people to subscribe to your channel, to promote your website, merchandise, or crowdfunding campaigns. So, when shooting or recording your videos to be published on YouTube, you want to always consider where you place your end screen elements and leave space for it. The next video element option is adding cards, which is also similar to end screens when setting it up, but instead of the added video popping up at the end of the video, as the case is with end screen, the card links will pop up anywhere you place it within your video. You can also include a verbal call to action whenever the link pops up. For example, you can ask your viewers to hit the i icon or check out the playlist in the cards of your video. Some creators go further to create visual graphic elements that draw viewers' attention to the card icon at the top right here. 
Now the next step in the process of uploading your video on YouTube is a new feature that YouTube just recently added to help check your videos for any copyright issues that may restrict the video's visibility. That way, you have the opportunity to fix any issues before publishing your videos on YouTube. Now, if your video has no copyright issues, you'll definitely see a green check mark here on the site. Now, after all that, the final step in the process is making your videos visible for all to watch on YouTube. Here, you can choose when to publish your videos and who can see your videos. You have the option to make your videos private, unlisted, public or simply schedule it to go public on a later day and time. Now that's all it takes to upload your videos on YouTube properly. If you have any questions on this, let me know in the comments area below this video. And with all that, I'll wrap up this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another helpful video.